What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with episode 3 of Prison Architect. As of right now, you guys seem to be enjoying this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep it up as long as you guys do enjoy. Now, like I said at the end of episode 2, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little bit more expansion. And what we're going to do, we're going to expand down, uh, expand down here in the southern area. We do need to add visitation. We also need to add a medical ward and a few other things. Uh, let's see, what else could we add down here? We are going to need uh, storage, I guess. I guess we could do a little bit more storage indoors. Uh, the security, we could do that. That's going to be eventually. Uh, I'm feeling that we should probably do a common room, although the common room is probably going to be in the actual cell block. Uh, we do need to do the visitation, like I said. Cleaning cupboard is something that we could do as well, just so that we can have some of these prisoners actually start working and earning a little bit of cash. And then we'll probably give them a chapel as well as parole. Now, the chapel, again, that's something that we might just squeeze into cell block A. But let's go ahead and do a little bit of expansion down here. We are going to do... Uh, let's do it over here. A one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's go ahead and do five squares. And we could do something like, like this. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. That way we can keep that wall there. Because we're going to want that wall there anyway, right? To keep this little two-tile hallway going. So our workers are going to go ahead and start working on that. We are going to do at least one parole room, which I think we're actually going to do a couple more. And then I do want to actually deploy. I want to deploy one officer here as well as one officer here and that will then allow us to constantly have uh, somebody opening these doors so let's go ahead and hire let's do we're making twelve hundred dollars a day we'll do a thousand we'll hire three more security and then we're gonna need to open this up so let's go ahead and demolish uh, we'll do that wall right there and that will finish building this entire foundation area as soon as a worker comes and does that. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead. We're also going to remove this wall. Just that little portion right there. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to change that with the brick wall. Good, good, good. Alright, so we need to do the medical ward, right? How large does that have to be? Not too large. Um, let's check that out real quick. Uh, we can't do the medical ward until we actually assi uh, get doctors or anything like that, right? So we need to do health, which is going to cost us 500 bucks and 6 hours. So let's go ahead and do that. We have deployment. We have patrols. I don't want to worry about remote access just yet. I don't think we have an office for psychology. We don't have to have an office for the health. Like there is no main doctor or anything like that that needs to have an office. So we're not going to worry about that. So that should get unlocked here fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and speed up time as much as we can. And again, like I said in episode one, I do have a few mods. Nothing too crazy. Just have a little time mod here that allows us to speed up time just a little bit more. We also have more of these quick build options, which are very useful just so that we're not doing the monotonous stuff over and over and over again. Let's go ahead and check this. Um, health is going to be approved here. We're halfway done with that. And so we have cell block A here. And those guys, when they do, you know, we could give them another cell door over here. Just so it makes it a little bit faster for them to get into the canteen. Let's go ahead and do that. Large jail door. Pop that down right there. And again, it'll just make it a little tiny bit faster. So they don't have to go all the way around right there. I think we have enough food for those guys too, right? Three out of three, two. Looks like two people are missing food. One person is missing food. Uh, is that... That's this guy over here. It's because he's injured. What is he waiting on? Solitary. Two hours. Why are they not... Is that how much time he has left? Maybe they're just not moving him because he's injured or something? He needs exercise. Well, you know what? You're a gang member and you're being punished, so you're not you're not going to get exercise right now. We need to heal the prisoner. Uh, let's see. Psychologist required to show needs. I'm not worried about his needs right now. 
Let's see, we have 3,000 bucks. I don't want to go too, uh, too overboard with building some of this stuff. Health is unlocked. Beautiful. So we can do the medical ward now. So let's see, what do we have here? We need a medical bed, right? Where, oh where, is the medical bed? There we go, medical bed right there. Let's go ahead, we can do one, two, one, two. We can only do two for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that because we could just expand more uh, southern. Or we could do, we could do another, you know what, let's do that. We'll do another set right there. We'll go ahead and we'll do the brick walls over here. It's a little bit larger than I wanted to do, but oh well. We're going to go ahead and do that. What else are we going to do? Uh, we're going to give chapel, maybe parole. Yeah, I guess we could do one. Is anybody up for parole right now? No, nobody is up for parole. So you know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I am going to do, though, I'm going to give them the visitation that they want. And that tells me that we probably need to do a few more of those power converters or whatever they're called. So let's do visitation. Visitation, there is no requirement. So what we can do, let's, let's do something like that for now. We are going to do a visitation table. We're going to do right there. Can we do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll fit nicely. So we'll do that right there. We can actually go ahead and build. We're going to cancel this. Um, okay, we can cancel that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do the wall over here. We're going to seal that off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Need another grant. We can take one more, right? Cell block A. Uh, let's go ahead and accept cell block B, too, because that's something we're going to want. We have 50,000 bucks now. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to seal that off. We're going to go ahead. We're going to give them a door over here. Should we do staff door or should we do regular? I think we're going to just do... Actually, no, I don't think we're going to do any door. This is what we're going to do. We are going to demolish this wall. And we, we definitely need to start doing this. We're going to demolish that wall. And we are going to add in metal detectors. And this will catch anybody trying to bring in any kind of contraband. Now, where are the metal detectors? Here we go. We're going to put that bad boy right there. We are also... Everybody's going to come through here, right? Uh, we're going to do metal detectors here, 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 and here. And then even once they get through there, if these guys are trying to smuggle any kind of like utensils or or whatever, a knife, a fork, whatever, they're going to have to go into cell A. So they're going to come through here and we're going to have them uh, go through another set of metal detectors over there. And I definitely want the people visiting uh, to have to go through metal detectors as well. That being said, let's go into utilities, let's go into electrical. These metal detectors here uh, are connected. All of these metal detectors are already connected. That is absolutely beautiful. Now we are kind of running low here on the power. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do more of these power capacitors. Let's do... That should be good enough for now. And then also let's give them some lights. Because it looks like this room is completely void of any kind of lighting. So we'll do something like that. Uh, same thing with this hallway. There's just no lights. Uh, let's do let's do something like this. No lights over here either. Or here. Uh, you know what? We don't need that because all the cells have lights. So we are good there. That's visitation. Uh, we definitely need to do the um, the infirmary over here. Uh, with the infirmary being right there, we need to go ahead and do the staff door. And then let's go ahead and hire a few doctors. We'll just do, we'll do one doctor for now. The doctor's waiting to go see this gang member. He's going to get patched up. So Hawkins is all good to go now. I wonder if that will mean that they're going to actually take him into solitary. Because I don't see, why, why is he not? As of right now, why is he not? Escort prisoner to solitary. Okay, good. They're doing that right now. So I guess they can't send him to solitary if he is injured. It looks like none of our prisoners... Actually, we have one more prisoner here that needs to get tended to. Looks like the doctor is going to go ahead and take care of that. 
Clampazo. What's wrong with Clampazo? What did he do? I'm doing time for spiking the municipal water supply with LSD. And assaulting an officer. Okay, so we need to watch out for this guy. Tim Bones Clampazo. Experience, grading. Okay. It shouldn't be too big of an issue for us. Looks like this guy's throwing up all over his uh, cell, which actually reminds me, we have not done a shakedown yet. Let's go ahead and do that. Speed of time, there's 120 places to look for. We have eight guards who are all being uh, tasked right now with doing the shakedown. We definitely need laundry too. Laundry is an issue. We do need to hire, do we have the psychologist? No, we do not have a psychologist. So we are going to have to add... I'm thinking we could probably just do that over here, although that is the yard, so never mind. We are not going to do that over there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hire... Actually, we could do... We could just do the offices over here. Although that wouldn't really make sense, because this is still kind of like the prisoner area. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to build more offices up here. Which really... Let's see here. Like, uh, nope, not accountant. The armed guards, no, they don't need one sniper, no psychologist and lawyer. So we only need two more offices. We can go ahead, we can do that right now. Foundations, build brick. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, wall. One, two, three, four, wall. So that's what we need there in order to be able to have both of the offices. I'm going to have our workers build that. We are looking, there we go. Shakedown is complete. How many people? Two in solitary, one in waiting. So it looks like three people got caught with things that they shouldn't have had. Our prison is still fairly clean, although we have just the two janitors. Uh, what is this? Uh, contents, bunk bed. Let's go ahead and dump that. Are they done? I like that. Look at that bacon right there. Bacon looks like we got like lettuce and potatoes or something. I, I really love these graphics, man. Prison Architect is such a beautiful game. It's so simple, yet so beautiful. It's absolutely, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's no surprise that the guys from Sim Airport, as well as a few other games, RimWorld, are kind of borrowing this style. Because it really is a beautiful, easy, I have to assume this is much easier to design and develop than like any other game. And I, to be honest, I love it. I love the way that this looks. So we're going to do the four there. We're going to do the wall here. Wall here. Let's go ahead and we're going to give them the staff doors. Uh, in identical spots like all the other ones. And we should still have the clone of the office, right? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and do that. Do that right there. Once that gets built, we're going to go ahead and we're going to research all the guys. Probably we'll wait on the lawyer. But we're going to have the office ready for the psychologist. And that's probably something I'm going to want to do here. I'm probably going to want to do another office for a psychologist. Just so that we can have that reform program going. Oh, we still need to hire one more doctor. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Even though I really don't want to. Because this other doctor, I'm sure, isn't really doing too much right now. Anyways, we're going to hire one more doctor. We just need the psychologist. Uh in order to be able to get this $10,000 over here for the inmate health and well-being grant. And we do need to raise the capacity to 50, which we are only about a third of the way there, but that is not a big deal. Let's go ahead and put some of these power lines up here. Don't need to do water right now, so we are good there. We could give these guys something in the yard too. Let's go ahead and give them uh, grass over here. And then we'll give them some objects too, like we'll give them the phone booth. Uh, let's go ahead and do that in this corner here. We'll do, oh, I don't know. We'll do five for now. And then we'll also give them some weight benches. Uh, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and just put those down here. Uh, actually, you know what? let's do them opposite. We'll do like one, two, three, four, five. We'll do those opposite. And then let's give them some benches to sit down on. Uh, we'll do one there, we'll do one there. That should be good. Now, what is going on? Is somebody fighting? Is there something going on? Is there a riot or something? What are you guys doing? Like, why are you in the holding cell? Do you guys not have... 
all of the available cells are too high quality for the prisoners. That is something I'm going to go ahead and take off. Um, let's see. Is it, where is that exactly? Regime, jobs, intake, where? I never remember what this is. I think it's in policy, so we actually have to research that. Um, let's go ahead. That The office should be done, right? It is. Let's go ahead and hire the psychologist. Which we cannot do because we haven't researched them. No problem. Uh, let's go ahead and research psychology. We're also going to research prison policy as well as micromanagement. I am not going to worry about prison labor right now. Neither with the or with the education. Land expansion, extra grant. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff right now. Bank loan, tax relief. We are, overall, I think we're pretty good. Um, we have enough stuff on our plate as far as research goes. Doctor is doing her work. We still have the one random doctor that we really don't need, but we were forced to hire. Oh well. Prison is close to new inmates because we are at max capacity. Staff, two staff members are exhausted, but we do have the staff room, so they should be able to go in there no problem. Now, why do we have these random logs here? Oh, that's the grass. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Alright, well, we've got the nice grass here in the yard. Let's go ahead and finish installing the grass over here. As well as the telephones and the benches. And I'm sure that the prisoners will be happy next time they go to the yard. They'll be able to call their parents or their family or their girlfriends or their kids or whatever. And they'll also have a place to do a little bit of exercise. And yeah, we're, we, we've got the guard member uh, staffed here in the yard. We have the, uh, the one member staffed here in the cell, as well as the canteen. I'm thinking we should have somebody staffed in visitation, although we don't have the door there. We have the metal detector, so we can't really have anybody staffed there, which, oh well, not a, not a big deal. Can we hire? How far are we away from hiring? So we have, here we go, psychology. Another hour and 54 minutes. That'll get done pretty quick. We are good with water. We're good with electricity. Our prisoners are being fed. There is one prisoner. Okay, there we go. I was going to say there's one prisoner that hasn't eaten, but looks like they just had their little bit of chow. I'm thinking let's go ahead and do, we're going to have to do laundry. That's something that we absolutely have to have. And once we, we just unlocked the psychologist, so let's go ahead and give her an office to go to. Now we can check out our needs, which I'm sure clothing is going to be way up there. Yeah, look at that. Clothing needs def definitely needs a little bit of, of uh, attention there. Uh, recreation as well. So we're, we're definitely going to have to do a common room. Although, I'm not sure these guys deserve a common room, but you know what, we're going to have to do it. So, we're going to do laundry and we're going to do common room down here. That's what we're going to use these uh, two spaces for. Why don't we do... Let's see here. So, objects. We're going to have to do... And we can't... Why is this? Because we have prison labor not unlocked. Okay, so we'll unlock prison labor. And we will give them the common room that they're so uh, desperate for. Let's see, common room. No requirement as for how large it needs to be. So let's oh, let's do something like this. And then this could be our laundry room over here. We'll go ahead and build a brick wall, separating it. We'll give them the staff door. Because, oh no, we'll do the regular door for the common room. And we'll do that opposite of this jail cell door right there. Now, what are we going to give them in the common room? I'm thinking we should do... We should probably do a TV... Pacify your prisoners with nine numbing mediocrity requires a place for prisoners to sit in front of the TV We will definitely do that. We will do this over here Is that the correct way? It looks backwards. Oh, that's the correct way right there And that is going to need let's see we can't check it until it's actually installed But it's gonna need some benches or some uh, some little sofas or whatnot Just waiting on that TV to get installed right there. And let's see, what are these guys asking for? Um, this guy needs clothing, clothing. Yeah, they all need clothing. Drugs, <laughs> alcohol. Well, the clothing we can do, guys. The drugs and alcohol, 
not so much. It looks like we have a little bit of a mess too. Uh, maybe we do need to hire another janitor. That might be a thing that we have to do. Let's go ahead and fast forward time. Okay, so that entire area right there can be filled with couches and whatnot. Let's go ahead. We'll do wide sofas over here. And then we'll do the regular sofas next to that. Uh, so we'll do that right there. Let's give these guys a... I want to say we'll give them a pool table. We'll put the pool table over there in the corner. And then I think we'll do like a, fo a couple of phone booths. And I think that should be it. Uh, metal detector, spring, we don't need any of this stuff. I think we're good. I think that's good enough common room. They have a pool table, they have TV, they have a couple of phones. I think we're more than okay with that. Now let's check. Is prison labor unlocked? No, we have another three hours and seven minutes until that gets unlocked. We will give these guys a laundry room so that they can do laundry. Looks like our janitors are cleaning up the prison over here. They did kind of skip a spot though. Probably need to hire one more janitor just to kind of keep things completely clean at all times. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe we need to station one more guard in cell block A. Maybe just one more. Uh, we'll see. 33,000 bucks. We're only making 888 a day. And eight prisoners have serious complaints, which really is, is half our prisoners have serious complaints. Now, once we get the clothing situated, we should be okay. Let's go ahead and I think we're going to do another shakeup, but we're going to wait until everybody's in their jail cell. Now, I do really want to get the want to get the prison labor done so we could do the clothing because that's that's something that we absolutely have to have. We waited way too long for that. So, let's go ahead and do a laundry machine. We'll do, we'll do, I think that should be good right there. Four laundry machines will be good. We'll do the staff door right there. Uh, we're going to need to do a few of these, uh, where are they? Ironing boards. Now these are a little tricky. Sometimes these are kind of hard to place. We'll do one, two, we'll just do the two ironing boards. And then we will do the laundry baskets. We'll put those guys right there. And now we should be good. Let's go ahead and assign that. Uh, it's going to be laundry. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Watch those guys build our little laundry room. Alright, come on. No, you have access. You definitely have access. There we go. Oh, we're going to have to connect the utilities there too, right? So let's see. Small pipe is going to run through here all the way down. And I think we're going to be good. We need to do electricity too, but that's already connected. I think we're good. We just need the water. Water and our janitors are going to be the ones that are going to be doing most of the work initially. There we go. Yeah, the janitors are doing the work. They're going to be doing the ironing here very, very shortly. I really want to watch this. Yep, look at that. Oh, and he disappeared. It's because we don't have the CCTV right there. But it looks like the janitor did start doing a little bit of laundry. And he's going to be able to start distributing some of these uniforms. See? Clean uniforms are going out to the prisoners, so they should be happy. Uh, they're no longer going to be able to complain about dirty, smelly, rotten uniforms. Because we are what? What day is it? Day 9. So for over a week, these guys have had the same uniform on, which, no bueno. Let's go ahead. We're going to deploy a guard here. And I think we're going to do another guard in cell block A. And that should be good. I don't think we need to add another guard into the canteen, but I am going to want to do a guard patrol real quick. And pretty much, the guard patrol is just going to be going from down here, up here, and down past solitary. There we go. And then we're also going to do a guard patrolling uh, the yard. Nope. Bam, bam. So now we can actually take the deployment um, I think, can we like undeploy these guys? Because we do have guard patrols. Okay, they're still doing their patrols. Uh, let's go ahead and give them one more guard over here doing that patrol. And then we don't need to have anybody. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. 
We're gonna have a guard patrolling this canteen right there. Just one guard. And that's good. We still have the guard deployed in the common room, so we shouldn't really have any blind spots. Uh, looks like we have a blind spot in the yard, which we shouldn't because there should be a deployed guard there. No? Guard patrol. There should be a guard doing patrol, which it looks like right now he's in the staff room. So that tells me we need to hire... Let's go ahead and hire two more guards. Uh, bam, bam. We have ten. Two doctors, eight workmen, two cooks, two janitors. Let's go ahead and hire one more janitor just to be safe with the laundry. And we are good. Laundry is getting done. These guys should have clean uniforms. Uh, let's go ahead and check real quick. We're going to check our, our needs. So recreation is definitely needed. But they do have the common room. Uh, they're asking for freedom and the clothing is still horrible. Which the clothing is going to get addressed here very shortly. Let's go ahead and do regime. So we are, lockup is, is huge. Um, let's go ahead and do... We'll do shower right there. Then I'm thinking we'll do eat, eat. We'll give them free time, free time, uh, eat, eat, yard. Uh, free time, free time, eat. And then we'll do lock up and more sleep. Which, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and we're actually going to change. Uh, we'll do work slash free time right there. And then we'll be able to assign. Here we go. We can assign a few people to the laundry. And we can probably assign a few people here, and then we can start doing some of these um, the programs, right? So we could do the kitchen safety. That'll be one. We'll just do the one. And then I think that's all we really need. Parole hearing, we don't have a parole room. Spiritual guidance, we can't do because we don't have a chapel. Uh, alcoholics group therapy, uh, led by a psychologist in a common room. But it requires chairs, which our common room does not have any chairs. Uh, we can't do... Can we do this one? Led by a doctor and an infirmary and requires a medical bed. So we can do that one. We'll give them that. Carpentry, no. Workshop, no. We are good. Soon we will have prisoners working in our kitchen as well as the laundry. And I do want to watch when these guys wake up. I want to see how their their needs go down. Because they should have the uh, the fresh clothing waiting for them. So this should go all the way down. And their freedom should go down too because we did give them a lot of free time to go into the common room or the yard. They even have two dedicated hours just for the yard. So all that stuff should go down. Privacy is fine. Everybody has their own cells. Recre hygiene is bad too, but that's because everybody's sleeping right now. As soon as they wake up, they're pretty much going to be forced to take a shower. So hygiene should be going down. There it is. Hygiene going down, clothing went down, as well as after they go eat here, freedom should go down as well. Freedom and recreation should both go down. They got let go, they're going to go have some food right now. There we go, they're all eating. Looks like one person's waiting for solitary. He's getting led there right now, so he's not going to get any food. Um, we have two people that have not eaten. Oh, it looks like somebody's over here getting brought in. So maybe somebody maybe somebody got out. Their jail time got, uh, I don't know, not commuted, but... Oh, is that another gang member? They just brought us a new prisoner, and it's another gang member. Hmm. Alright, which kind of tells me we need to unlock intelligence just so that we can see exactly how many gang members we do have. Now, like I said, freedom and recreation should be going down. Because we have this common room over here that should address both of those issues. Uh, still have a few people. There we go. There we go. Getting knocked down. Looking good. Alright, guys. That is going to be it for episode 3 of Prison Architect. Things are going quite lovely. No real needs that need to be addressed right now. We can start worrying about expansion. We do have to get 50 inmates to get that uh, cell block B going. So I think, or yeah, the cell block B. So I think we're going to expand a little bit more in cell block A. But then we might just build another cell block over here. And we might do nicer cells. We might do, uh, we might do worse. Probably won't do worse. We'll probably either do the same level, uh, the same, you know, uh, cell 3. Or we might do a little bit nicer, as a matter of fact. And I'm not quite sure if they're going to be able to uh, share the common room 
or if they're going to be able to sh uh, share this yard. I think we'll probably do something like this um, over here too. Just maybe like mirror it or something like that. But yeah, stay tuned for episode 4 of Prison Architect. Hopefully you guys like this series. Again, if you guys do like the series, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. And hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.